Give her the beans! <laughs> what is going on guys? It's your boy Nick Mack here. Hanging out in Duke Boys Garage. Home of Duke Boys Power Sports. Uh, today, I want to do a little bit of a different video. I've never really done one. It's a bit of like a garage update and stuff. Uh, you know, I showed you my Maverick in a video not too long ago. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the King Quad that's over here. And we're going to show you the Jixer that's over there. So, without further ado, let's get at her. Alright guys, this is my 2003 Suzuki GSXR 1000. In 2005 it had 11,000 kilometers on it. It was basically stock. There was nothing done to it. It's kind of boring. So I changed the tip. Uh, I put a titanium uh, mid pipe in it. Power commander. Uh, I got an integrated rear tail light. Uh, bar ends, grips. Uh, double bubble tinted windscreen. Uh, upgraded the headlights. I got flush mount signals on it. Uh, there's a K&N air filter in it. And I have iridium plugs in it, spark plugs. Uh, I also have a super sprock, uh, front and back sprocket, uh, an upgraded chain, and that's pretty much it. It's, other than that, the motor's just stock, but it, it's a ripper, man. This thing is a monster. This thing just screams. Like, I, I get, it's just, if I have a bad day, all I have to do is just jump on this bad boy and go for a rip, and all my problems are solved. Um, some of the things I have to do to get this bike on the road this season is it's going to need new tires and now that we're back into lockdown for another month, um, that could be time consuming so I hope I can get it into a bike shop if they're open. Um, it needs a brake reservoir, front brake reservoir that holds the fluid. It's all spider cracked so I have to change that. Um, the head bearings are starting to go. And the clutch is starting to go. Which, this bike's almost got 70,000 on it. And the clutch is just starting to go now. So, that's not bad. It's not bad. And it's only second gear. And it only does it at 30 to 60 inter inter kilometer interval, uh, intervals, which I don't understand. But, um, I definitely want to get the clutch sorted out. Because second gear, uh, you really need second gear in this bike. First gear is fun. But only lasts to 140, and then second gear has to come in sometime. Um, but yeah, enough talking about this thing. Let's get the King Quad in here and take a look at it. So guys, this is my 2014 Suzuki King Quad 750 AXI. September 2013 it's a 2014 whatever you know the, the stupid six month thing I don't understand it but uh, anyways uh, I bought it it was all stock bought it right off the showroom floor zero kilometers it's got almost 4,000 kilometers on it and it has 375 hours on it now and it's been basically the channel 
this thing is, you know, got me up to almost 500 subscribers so far. Um, I absolutely love it. I haven't had many problems with it other than the stuff that I've done to it. And it did have one warranty, one warranty claim on it, which was the ECU. And it got replaced for free. So things I've done to it, put a box on it, need fuel, so fuel can, snorkeled it, excuse me, uh, rad relocate, uh, shim the clutch, and bigger tires and uh, aftermarket rims. And that's basically all I've done to it. I've pretty much kept the stock. Um, I'm not getting rid of this thing. This I, I love this the King Quad. I kind of wish they they did come out with a bigger motor for them because if they did, I'd probably just go buy a new King Quad. Uh, you know, I was I was him and hawing at it when I went to buy my side by side. If I should just sell this and buy a new new four wheeler, but I love this thing, man. It gets me from point A to point B with you know minimal hassle. It, it hasn't broke down on the trails where we've had to tow it home yet. Um, but it does need a lot. Of, it does need some work. It does need new tires. And I want to go bigger. I want to put 28s on it. So you can get uh, 28s in 12 inch rim size. But I'm thinking there's so much rash, like rock rash on the uh, rims. That I'm just going to replace the rims too. And I'll probably just go to a 14 inch rim with uh, 28 inch tires on it. It does need a new floorboard frame over here. I broke it. It snapped in half. Now every time I go to do like a wheelie on it or something, the back tire rubs the fender. Um, it does need brakes. It needs a CV axle over here on the left side and the rear. Uh, and I, I really just want to give it a little bit of a break, strip it down, and just go through it. And uh, bring her back. Bring her back to gooder. Make it gooder again. Um... Yeah, I really love this quad, and, you know, I just wish Suzuki would get their heads out of their ass and put a bigger motor in this and beef it up a little bit more, and the aftermarket, uh, people would, like, start making aftermarket parts for this. Like, you can't, like, I wanted to get, like, arched A-arms for it and everything, but you can't find that online. Like, you can buy lift kits for it, but they're, like, the stupid ones that go on your suspension and... You know, they stress out your axles, and then you have to upgrade the axles and everything. Um, I just wish the aftermarket would would concentrate on king quads, because there is a lot of Suzuki guys out there. They're like, like me, man. I'm a Suzuki guy 100%. Like, if Suzuki made a side-by-side, -side, there'd be a Suzuki side-by-side -side sitting in this garage instead of a Can-Am. But don't tell the Can-Am that, because I don't need it breaking down. So, um... Yeah, so the King Quad isn't going anywhere, but you're not going to see it a lot this year, I don't think. Um, I'm going to try to get it ready for October. Me and my buddies usually go away twice a year. I am going to try to get out more this year, but with this pandemic, who knows, right? So yeah, so hopefully I can get some parts for the Suzuki and get it going again. Make it better than ever. Uh... I just wanted to show you guys my other rides because that's why I kind of renamed the channel from uh, Dutch Rider Films to Duke Boys Power Sports because me and my buddies were always, we always joked around that we we're like the Duke Boys, you know, Duke's a Hazard. And, you know, we we just don't like one thing. We, we like, like my, I, I love my sport bike, I love my quad, and I'm really starting to enjoy the side by side. So it's, it made more sense to rename the channel where it, I can dabble with a lot more things, you know. And Dutch Rider Films. If you know don't know what a Dutch Rider is, Google that shit because you you won't like it. But anyways, that's probably about it for today. Uh, I already showed you the Can Am. Not much has changed. I put a box on it, and that's it. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Duke Boys Power Sports. And uh, yeah, happy trails. Stay safe. Peace out.